One day after traveling to Israel, President Biden will address the nation. During tonight's address, he's expected to discuss the U.S. response to the attack on Israel. The president is also addressing the worsening humanitarian crisis in Gaza with an announcement of humanitarian aid, including a donation of $100 million. So joining us live this morning to talk about it is Senator Rick Scott. We do appreciate you being with us today, Senator. Now, you have stated that you want to make sure that this donation does not benefit Iran-backed Hamas terrorists, but I have to ask you, how does the U.S. monitor and control that? No, well, they, it's clear they can't. That's why we don't give it to them. Hamas controls Gaza. Every dime that we send into Gaza goes to Hamas. They they decide. You saw, I mean, you saw the terrorists with humanitarian first aid kits when they're out shooting uh, and killing Americans and Israelis in in Israel. You see them with uh, humanitarian rice bags. Um, I mean, this is crazy. I mean, we've got Hamas is holding. Americans and Israelis hostage, and we're going to give them money. And on top of that, think about this. We're going to give money to the Palestinian Authority that gives money to the family of dead terrorists for killing Americans. So we're going to take American taxpayer money. So you're, if your child got killed, you're going to pay taxes so your government can give, the U.S. government can give that to Palestinian Authority to give to the terrorists that killed your kid. This makes zero sense. Do I, is my, does my heart go out for the people in Gaza? Absolutely. You know who's doing it to them? Hamas, the Palestinian Authority. That's who's doing it to them. Senator, Iran, let, let, that's let me cut in here real quickly. You said yesterday you were quoted as saying giving a dime to Gaza would be the stupidest thing. That, that was the quote. I, I want to make sure you're not taken out of context. You're not suggesting that no aid, no, nothing should be going to Gaza. No, I, my bill that, that the Democrats blocked yesterday just said, just said, if you can, you know, don't give it unless you're sure it's not going to go to Hamas. I mean, all the president has to do is is say that certify that it, the money's not going to Hamas. It's real simple. But they don't want to do that because they actually, here's what they know. It doesn't go to the Gazans. It goes to Hamas. They run Gaza. Yeah, but you just said, Gaza. Senator, I'm sorry to jump in. You said just the president just has to certify that it's not going. But, but again, how do you monitor and control that? Well, if you can't, why are we giving it to them? I mean, it's pretty simple. If you if you know if you know the money is going to go to Hamas, they're holding American hostages. They killed Americans. You don't do it. I mean, I mean, it's it's it, to me this is pretty simple. So how I'm do you get gonna, aid? I don't then? want our tax dollars to go to Hamas. I don't. I mean, it's it's wrong. So how do you get aid to the Palestinian people who are truly in need? Because they've been waiting for this aid to come in through the Egypt border. The U.S. is trying to help the humanitarian aid crisis. How do you get aid to those who truly need it? Sure. Well, first off, uh, Egypt can open up its borders, right? I mean, Egypt is a big supporter of the Palestinians. Open their borders. Why aren't they doing it? I mean, no country over there is opening their borders. I mean, Iran's not opening it, bringing the Gazans there. I mean, if if you want to help them, let the let the countries over there that are big supporters of of Gazans and Palestinians, why don't they do it? Why are we? Why they are holding Americans hostage? Let's we we are forgetting they murdered babies. They murdered they murdered babies. I I was I go to Israel quite a bit. I was in a kibbutz that that's a half mile from the Gaza Strip, where I was talking to a lady that gave us the tour a few years ago. So. The people, uh, she would happen to be out of town, otherwise she'd be dead. People on the left were murdered in their beds. People on the right were murdered in their beds. There's, her sister was in a, in a, in a bomb shelter, and, and, and the Hamas tried to get in there. Fortunately, didn't. Babies were beheaded. What are we thinking about giving money that we know is going to go to Hamas and give it to the Palestinian Authority, who pays terrorists, you know, it, it's, I think it's called pay to slay. The pays terrorists to kill Americans right. and Senator, Israelis. Senator, are you concerned that the president went over to Israel and didn't call for a ceasefire? No. You know, you know how you get a ceasefire? Everybody, every Hamas terrorist either puts down their arms and gives up or they're dead. That's the only way you're going to get a ceasefire. I mean, so, that's it. I mean, see, what? I mean, we're, so they come in and they kill your family and everybody says, oh, I'm, I'm going to be okay now? No. I mean, this is, we, Hamas 
They're terrorists. They're killing people. They, uh, Israel has no choice but to absolutely destroy Hamas. And by the way, Iran needs to be held accountable. Iran is Iran is causing these problems. They're the one who pays for all the Hamas, um, you know, fighters. So with our dollars, by the way, the we give them money. Enough? So listen, Senator, the president showed up, the first president, sitting president to show up to a, a war in Israel. Did, does that say anything? Does that send a message? And more importantly, what do you expect for him to say tonight? I th first off, I think it's great that he went. Um, I think he and, but what he needs to say is he has 100 percent support for Israel destroying Hamas. I want more conversation about why we don't have our hostages back, and I want to have more conversation about how we are going to hold Iran accountable. If this, if we don't hold Iran accountable, if we don't destroy Hamas, this is just going to go on and on. So this is that's what has to happen. That's what the president needs to be way more vocal about. Well, the president did call out Iran in the initial attack and did say he pointed the fingers directly at Iran, saying that they were responsible for this as well. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, I have another question for you. We're simply out of time, but I just wanted to know, do you think the American public has an appetite to fund two wars? Because we're going to hear that tonight from the president. Well, I think they're totally separate. I think Americans are clearly going to support Israel. I think with regard to Ukraine, we need to know what the president's plan is. I mean, I've supported the Ukraine, but we got to, I want Ukraine to win and Russia to lose. But listen, what's your plan, President Biden? I mean, just a prolonged war? Mm -hmm. Okay, All Senator, right. thank you so much for your time. Wish we had a little bit Thanks. more with you, but we do sure. appreciate your insight.